Hi everyone, let's do our first question. See what they have given here. 646 is related to 6, 190 is related to 4. So we need to find a number from the given options which is related to 5. First observe the first two numbers which are 6 and 646 here. 6 and 646. So what is the mathematical operation I can do on the small number. So I get a big number is nothing but either we will do square or cube and so on. Okay. Now if I do the cube of the first number observe here if I do the 6 cube 6 cube is nothing but 216 right. Now observe the 216 and 646 almost 3 times right. So if I multiply 216 with 3 so the value I get is 16 3 is 48 and 3 to 6. So I am getting 648 but I want 646 so if I subtract 2 from 648 I am getting 646. So what have I done here 6 cube multiplied with 3 and subtract 2 from it I am I got the 646. So what is the pattern here first number cube multiplied with 3 subtract 2 from it we are getting the second number. So let us verify this pattern for the 4 and 190. So here first number is nothing but 4 so 4 cube multiplied with 3 minus 2. See here 4 cube is 64 multiplied with 3 minus 2. 64 3 is how much? 180 plus 12 192 by 2 190 so which is the second number here which verified our pattern. Now let us find the answer here. So answer answer so 5 cube multiplied with 3 we have to subtract 2 from it. 5 cube is nothing but 125 multiplied with 3 minus 2 which implies 125 3 times how much 375 subtract 2 from it the answer is 373 which is option number 2 here. Let us see your next question. See this sets question here we need to find a set from the given options which follows the same pattern as above two sets. Let us take the first set here which is 7 by 9 and 31 by 39. Observe the numerators here 7 and 31. 31 is almost 4 times of 7 right. So if I multiply 7 with 4 I am getting 28 but I want 31. So if I add 3 to it I am getting 31. Now let us see for the denominators also 9 times 4 how much 36. If I add 3 to it I am getting 39 which is the denominator of the second fraction. So what is our pattern here? Numerator multiplied with 4 and if we add 3 to it we are getting the numerator of the next fraction. Similarly denominator multiplied with 4 and if we add 3 to it we are getting the denominator of the next fraction. Now let us verify this pattern for the second set also. See here 3 by 5 and 15 by 23. So what should, we do, what should we do here? 3 times 4 plus 3. 3 4 is 12. 12 plus 3 is 15 which is the numerator here. Do you see the denominator? 5 times 4 plus 3. 20 plus 3 which is 23 denominator the second fraction. Now let us verify the options here. See the numerators here 9 and 36. 9 times 4 plus 3 how much? 4 9 is 36 plus 3 is 39 but they are given 37 which is not our option. See the next option 17 and 36 here. 17 times 4 plus 3. 17 4 is how much? 40 plus 28 is 68 plus 3 which is 71 but they are given 36 which is not our option. See the third option here 11 and 47 here. 11 times 4 plus 3. 11 times 4 is 44. 44 plus 3 is 47 which is the numerator of the second fraction. Now let us verify for the denominators 13 and 55 here. 13 times 4 plus 3. 13 4 is 52. 52 plus 3 is 55 which is the denominator of the second fraction. So third option is our answer. Let us hear next question. See this odd one odd question here. We need to find a pair from the given options which is odd from the rest of the pairs. Okay. First observe the first pair here which is 7 and 350. If you know the cubes here 
This is the easiest question here. If you do the cube of the first number, 7 cube how much? 343, right? If you add 7 to it, we are getting 350, which is the second number of that pair here. Now observe the next set here, 6 and triple 2 here. If you do the cube of the first pair of the number, 6 cube is nothing but 216, right? If you add to the same number here, 6, we are getting triple 2, which is the second number of that pair here. So, our pattern is nothing but n cube plus n here. Let us uh, verify for the third option also, 3 and 30 here, 3 and 30 here, 3 cube how much? 27 and if you add the same number 3 to it, 30 which is the second number of that pair. Now, our last option 4 and 70 here, 4 and 70, 4 cube how much? 64, if we add 4 to it, we are getting 68, but they are given 70, so which is the odd pair here, which are answer here, option number 4. Let us hear next question. See this coding question, here star is coded as this number cluster, gift is coded as this number cluster, we need to find how doll is coded in that language. First, let us observe the star and its coded value, ok. S T a R. If I write numbers corresponding to the letters S is 19, T is 20, A is 1, R is 18. Now observe the corresponding numbers and the coded value here. See here 81102918110291. So they simply written the corresponding numbers in reverse order. Now, let us verify for the gift here. G I F T. G is nothing but 7, I is nothing but 9, F is nothing but 6, T is nothing but 20. So, if I write these numbers in the reverse order, 0, 2, 6, 9, 7 is our coded value. That is the coded value they have given for the gift here. See 0, 2, 6, 9, 7. Now, we got the pattern. Now, let us find the coded value for doll here, T O L L, corresponding numbers D is 4, O is 15, L is 12 and L is 12. If we write the reverse order, 2 1 2 1 5 1 4, 2 1 2 1 5 1 4 which is option number 3 here. Let us hear next question. See this question here we need to find a value which comes in the place of question mark, ok. Observe the first row here which is 2, 1, 5, 2, 1, 5. If I multiply 2 to the first number here, which means 2 times 2, I am getting a value of 4 and with this 4, if I add the second number which is value 1, 2 plus 1, I am getting a value of 5 which is the third number here. So, what have I done here? First number multiplied with 2 and with that result I have added the second number. So, I got the third number as the result. Let us verify for second row here which is 5, 12 and 13 here. First number is 5 and I should multiply with 2 and I should add the second number which is 12 here. 12, 5 times 2 is 10, 10 plus 12, 22 which is the third number here which verified our pattern. Now, let us find the answer. First number is 6, 6 multiplied with 2 and I should add the second number 2, 6 times 2 is 12, 12 plus 2 is 14 which is option number 1 here. Let us hear next question. See this one more box question. Again, we need to find the value which comes in the place of question mark, ok. Observe the first row here which is 14, 10 and 9 here. See the first number and third number. If I subtract third number from the first number, 14 minus 9 how much? I am getting the value of 5 and with this resulting number and if I multiply 2 to it, I am getting the value of 10 which is the second number here. So, what did I do here? First number minus third number with this resulting number, if I multiply 2 to it, I am getting the second number. Now, let us verify for second row here, ok, which is 6, 8, 2. First number is nothing but 6, third number is nothing but 2. So, 
6 minus 2, I should multiply 2 with the resulting number. 6 minus 2 how much? 4. 4 times 2 is the 8 which is the second number which verified our pattern. Now let us find the answer here. First number is 8. Third number we need to find let it be x. So with this resulting I need to multiply 2. I am getting the second number which is 4 here. See 2 times 2. So 8 minus x is 2. x is 8 minus 2 is 6 which is option number 4 here. Let's hear next question. See this letter series question here. If I read the numbers corresponding to the letters S how much 19, R how much 18, P how much 16, M how much 13. Observe here 19 minus 1 is 18, 18 minus 2 16, 16 minus 3 13. So the next difference should be minus 4 right. So 13 minus 4 is 9 corresponding letter is i. Now see the second set of numbers h is how much 8, i how much 9, k how much 11, n how much 14. See here 8 plus 1 is 9, 9 plus 2 is 11, 11 plus 3 is 14. So the next should be plus 4. So 14 plus 4 how much? 18 corresponding letter of 18 is R. Now see the third set here. P here is 16, O here is 15, N here is 14, M here is 13. Observe here 16, 15, 14, 13. So the next letter is 12 corresponding letter is L here which is our answer I R L which is option number 4 here. Let's see next question. See this question here. This letter cluster is related to plan and this letter cluster is related to storm. So we need to find the letter cluster from the given options which is related to board here. Okay. First observe the plan and its letter cluster. P L A N T and the related letter cluster is V P C N R. If I write numbers corresponding to the letters, T is 20, N is 14, A is 1, L is 12 and P is 16. Here V is 22, P is 16, C is 3, N is 14 and R is 18. Observe here 20 plus 2 22, 14 plus 2 16, 1 plus 2 3. Similarly 12 plus 2 14, 16 plus 2 18. Now observe the stomp here, P is 16, R is 18, 16 plus 2, similarly M is 13, O is 15, 13 plus 2 15. So we got the pattern right. Now let us find for board here. So D corresponding value how much? 4. 4 plus 2 is 6. Corresponding letter is F. R corresponding number is 18. 18 plus 2. 20 corresponding letter is T. A corresponding number 1. 1 plus 2 is 3 corresponding letter is C. O is 15 here. 15 plus 2 17 corresponding letter is Q. B is 2 here. 2 plus 2 4 corresponding letter is D. So our answer is F T C Q D which is option number 1 here. Let's hear next question. So that's all for the reasoning section of both the ships guys and this question is from the next ship and we already discussed this type of questions in the previous videos right. So I hope everybody would comment the correct answer and guys please do like, share and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video. Until then take care. Love you.